There. Successfully traversed Charles Street to arrive at the public gardens, which have been around since 1837, as the sign helpfully reminds you. Over here we have the older and more sprawling common with whatever nonsense they're drumming up there. It looks like temporary concert stage in a time when such spectacles have diminished in appeal. And this way heads out towards Boston University and Beacon Street. This goes over to what is called the Back Bay and that pond has swan boats, which we'll examine presently. And this is basically where the 5% hangs out around Boston, <laughs> as if you couldn't tell. Public garden. So yes, the swan boats. And shit. Let's see. We wander down here. It's a very popular place. There you see a introduced Norway spruce. There's a kind of an arboretum here. And here's the little duck sculpture. Boston has always had an important role in the publishing in industry. So you'll find lots of references to various children's books beloved by baby boomers who after all run everything now. And uh, the little brass ducks are from something called Make Way for Ducklings. Ah, it looks like the swan boats have been put in the shed for the year, which is probably all for the best. I think this is mostly us trying to emulate France or something. It's a funny little island. Lots of ducks. This is essentially an old rotten mud hole <laughs> that was spruced up. There's the funny pedestrian bridge. And some Japanese thing. Probably blue. It's actually Chinese maybe. Probably looted. Ducks are taking advantage of the little pier over there. And all is generally right with the thing that calls itself Boston. Well, there's a couple of big American swan. <laughs> Don't go near those things. They can be mean. We're actually looking at urban turtles. Yeah. Making themselves at home. Basking in sun. Another voluminous willow. Ah. I think we've about covered the public gardens for now. They're really a spring and summer thing. My mission is mainly to find the Freedom Trail, follow it over to Charlestown. Oh, 
Hey ducks. <laughs> Look at you all. You layabouts. It's mainly mallard here, the flu few blue wing teal. And here's more of that light ripple stuff I really have come to enjoy. This is the pier where you typically would be meeting the swan boats if you were riding on them. Huh. Stash trash up there. Weird. And something's flapping. I think it's a cormorant. Must be doing a mating dance or some such thing. And there's Boston in all of its provincial monstrousness. There's a quaint little bridge from the other side. Heaven knows I've been over that thing a bunch. More ducks. A squirrel with the specks. I think it's a flapping cormorant. Can't be finding much fish in there. <laughs> it can't be very good. <laughs> the principal clowning birds of the urban landscape. <laughs> They're naturally comical. And to their credit, they've been put to work in other parts of the world, fetching fish for us, which they seem to do with good humor and grace. Up, oh, the ducks are taking off. And <laughs> the cormorant's flapping away. Some other funny little structure. It's our flapping cormorant. He's putting on a show, figuring the swan boats are gone. He might as well cover for it. And so I take my leave of this. Save the horrific Back Bay Uptown area and its blandishments for another day. We're gonna go into the heart of Boston quaintness, the North End, and work our way over to Charlestown, maybe even Bunker Hill. Depending on how lazy I am. Really, I needed to run my camera batteries down for other stuff. And I thought, oh, this will be perfect. I promised Thalia I'd do this at some point after the regular tourist went away. 
And so I am. There's our flagpole. And it's a generally quiet public gardens. Not a lot of leaf color change yet. Sort of the extreme end of summer. And our pal, Mr. Squirrel, foraging. Not entirely sure what this is. Looks like some quarrel between a lion and an owl. Oh no, and someone's cutting loose with an unusual instrument. So this is our main gate over to the common, which is an older structure. It was really the place where the early inhabitants grazed their domestic critters. <laughs> 